Welcome to another update on Tropical Cyclone Polder 16P from Force 13. This is the life of the system. Joint Typhoon Warning Center has it at 18 decimal 3 degrees south, 176 decimal 5 degrees west. Maximum sustained winds 45 knots, gusting 55 knots. And it's located about 291 nautical miles east of Suva, Fiji, tracking southward at 14 knots over the last six hours. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery shows the system further deepened and consolidated as rain bands wrap tighter into an obscure low level circulation. The initial position is based with high confidence on the microwave eye feature in a 37 gigahertz color enhanced image. The initial intensity is based on four wake estimates at T3, uh, 45 knots from all reporting agencies. The cyclone remains in an area of moderate 15 to 20 knot vertical wind shear offset by strong poleward outflow. Sea surface temperatures around 29 to 30 Celsius, also favourable. The cyclone will continue to track along the northwestern edge of the subtropical ridge located to the southeast. By the 48 hour mark, it will round the steering ridge axis, then accelerate southeastward. Marginally favourable conditions will promote a modest intensification up to 55 knots by the 48 hour mark. Increasing vertical wind shear, cooling sea surface temperatures take their toll. Concurrently, the cyclone will begin extra tropical transition by the 72 hour mark and becoming a strong storm force cold core low with a large call and an expanding wind field. Numerical models are in tight agreement lending high confidence to the center's forecast and wave height is 15 feet. Now here's a look at the track map for the center. And here's the latest from the Samoan Meteorological Service. They have a heavy rain warning for the entire region. Flood warning for vulnerable areas, all major rivers. Wind advisory for all Samoa. A small craft advisory and a strong wind warning for the coastal waters. Their information indicates that Tropical Depression 11F was upgraded into Tropical Cyclone uh, Polder at 2 a.m. local time to the northwest of Tonga or about 570 kilometers west-southwest from Apia and the cyclone maintains its proposed path advancing south south east at a speed of five knots and further away from Samoa. The cyclone which is now category two as mentioned or account one on the international scale will not pose any threat towards Samoa. Meanwhile, an active convergence linked to the cyclone continues to provide gusty and strong winds, heavy rain and high waves, including swells. And this is a 
a view of a live streaming webcam in the Samoa region. Impacts for Samoa. Heavy rain, strong winds will affect mainly exposed locations, poor visibility, slippery roads, flash, uh, I should say flooding and landslides, possible for low-lying and vulnerable areas, high swells, rough seas for mariners, dangerous surf, possible for coastal locations. Now this is what the Fiji Meteorological Office is saying. And as we know, it's a Category 2 on the AU scale and Category 1 on the international scale. And now we have a look at a couple of our models and their tracks on the Cyclone, the GEFS. The EPS and the pressure scale is on the right hand side of the screen. And that's the GFS one. The latest upper level divergence is not as strong as what I've seen, it's only around 30 knots. Well, no, it's up around 60 knots to the north of the uh, system. The wind shear, the red's unfavourable, yellow is neutral, and the green is favourable. One of my favourite uh, graphics is the A50 millibar vorticity, the intensity scale, also on the right hand side of the screen. Now we have a look at the winds of the system, HWRF model, along with the rainfall and the scale right hand side of the screen. And we have a look at what Tonga is saying. They have various warnings in place. Gale warning remains in force for all Tonga land areas, coastal waters. Heavy rain warning and a heavy damaging swell remains in force for all Tonga coastal areas. Apology for the not pronouncing the names of the areas and the NOAA floaters on the cyclone. I would invite uh, viewers to have a look at our Facebook page. Uh, I was in a discussion with Nathan earlier this morning and uh, something caught his eye in one of the images and it should be on our Facebook page. And I'm ready to see what the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre's latest advisor is. Read the eye. And finally, in this update, as some uh, modelling, we will continue to bring the latest information on this system. Caution needs to be applied when viewing the models as the information does change. And bye for now. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website, force13.com, our YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash force 13 on facebook under the same name force 13 and our twitter handle it's at force 13 if you wish to get in touch you can also add force 13 on skype and my personal account on discord full 13 at extension 9094